Hey everybody, welcome, 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 welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. This is a, oh, look at some cards flying over there. I'm Adrian H. Nelson of Ancient Great Life. I live in the beautiful Cape Town. Um, and this is a general reading for 23 till 31 March. Okay, same sex. I'm not going to do the one where I usually go one, two, three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the reading out there. And if it resonates with you, whatever resonates inside your heart, you accept it for inside yourself. Okay, what's not for you, you just release it with love and you let it go. Okay, deal? Fantastic. So, um, let's just connect in our heart space. Let's take a nice deep breath for a moment. like, And in our heart space, let go of all the stress and all the worries and all the concerns and everything in the world. And just one more time. Hmm release and let it go okay the world's in a bit of turmoil at the moment we all know it we're sending love and light to everybody i did record two videos about the coronavirus i'm going to put the links for you down below you can go and have a look at it and also in addition to this reading i recommend that you go and have a look at your individual readings for your zodiac signs because i made a video for each individual zodiac sign as well so look at this in addition to that Okay, all right. Subscribe to the channel. I've got some other videos coming out for you all. I'm going to look at, and remember, I'm looking at a collective consciousness. I believe that if you look at this, that you are meant to see this video. So I'm looking at the recent past. I'm looking at the present. I'm looking going forward. And I'm looking at the overall energy. And isn't this a beautiful overall energy? The lovers. Okay, that's really, really cool. So... Just going to clarify the lovers and see what we have there going forward for all your lovers in the house. <laughs> okay, all right, and oh, four of them. Okay, let's take another one. Five. Let's see what we got. Okay, so lovers that we clarify, this is the overall energy for the whole reading. Okay. So you have got the Six of Cups, the Five of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, that's interesting, and the Death card. Nice little selection going over there. So what lovers, many of you are finding new love, unexpected in fact love offers coming through. Um, you're like, I didn't, I didn't suspect that one, I didn't see that one coming. And I feel that a lot of you might have still been focused maybe on... <coughs> sorry, some previous romantic situations that maybe went a little bit south. So your hearts were still broken. Um, in a sense, you were still kind of mourning the loss. And you were still quite focused on that. And without you even expecting it, love was sneaking up on you like, what? Like, no, 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 not me. I'm not ready for this. I, don't, I, I didn't want this, you know. Um, this, this is not for me. However, according to the cards, it is cards don't lie <laughs> okay um so you'll let me know about that leave me some comments and let me know about that but seven of wands this could be something that started off very innocently you didn't expect it um it was just maybe like a very nice friendship or somebody have to know um so you were vibing very much in a friendship sort of way but didn't really think it was going to go any further than that maybe didn't have any plans for it to go further than that and it's not really like anybody had any sort of agenda maybe this other person was kind of checking you out um but i don't really feel that there's any sort of manipulation involved okay this is actually this person was maybe just hoping to maybe just be your friend really you know not actually thinking it's going to go any further then suddenly one day boom you just found yourself having feelings you know um and many of you actually fought it because remember that many of you were in that energy still that you didn't quite want to go there so a lot of you were like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Thank you so much for the offer, but um, this one can pass me by. New beginnings, letting go of the past, the death card, letting go of the past, um, moving into the new. And somehow it just seems to work. Okay, so that's interesting. All right, so for the recent past, for the collective, I've got the eight of swords. I've got the two of swords. And we've got the King of Wands. So you see what was happening over here. You were feeling quite trapped. 
and then you were starting to feel less trapped. And you kind of started to open your heart out a little bit. You started to check around again. Okay. Justice card, the current situation, you were like, no, maybe, who knows? Okay. Temperance, you were kind of starting to redefine what it is you want. And then with the high priestess, you became quite clear about what it is that you want. You were like, I want that. And then going forward, King of Cups, you know exactly what you wanted. Um, for, but here's the thing going forward, though, some of you, and you want to be mindful of this, okay? Um, some of you have got some control issues. You don't like to surrender control. Um, and that could be that could be an area in your going forward relationship that definitely needs some attention. Okay. All right, so we're going to clarify the, what is that, the Nine of Swords? The Eight of Swords, sorry. So you're going to clarify the Eight of Swords followed by the Two of Swords where you started to mellow down just a little bit. So Eight of Swords went into Nine of Swords space. Yeah, okay. Just give me one moment, please. All right, I'm back. Thank you. So I'm just going to level it all. I needed to go sneeze. In this time of Corona where it's almost like, a, you know, people have little mini... Breakdowns when you sneeze around them, I have to go sneeze. It's okay, I've got a flu, don't worry. Um, subscribe to my channel because you're still going to see me around for a long time. Aid is not going anywhere, okay? I stick around. So, nine of ones. Some, you see, that we said right there in the beginning also, there's some of that old energy, that um, those old feelings, some heartbreaks. You, a lot of you wanted some time to work through stuff, okay? You didn't just want to jump into things, you wanted some time to work through things. Your heart was broken, um, but look at this. Isn't this incredible? This is what I love about tarot. Remember we were looking at the cards early on? And this is the card that came out, the Two of Swords. So you're in the Two of Swords sort of energy at the moment. Okay, But if you all think about it as well, you started with Eight of Swords and not really seeing a way out, feeling very trapped. And then you kind of moved to the Two of Swords. Okay? So, uh, the heartache was still there, but you were like, I'm not going to let myself be ruled by this sort of, you know, thing. I'm going to live my life. Okay? So, you may not have had exactly a clue as to where it is that you're going, but you... I feel that a lot of you moved out of that lost sort of space faster than you imagined that you would. Okay? Clarify the Queen of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. So, you became very clear about what it is that you want. You became, I, I feel quite a big sense of maturity here. Okay? And this, this doesn't really matter what age you are. I feel quite a, if this reading resonates with you, I feel a strong sense of maturity in you. You've got quite a vision for your life. You've kind of got a goal you're working towards. Uh, you may not have all the, 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 like the parts in between how it's going to work out, but you know where you'd like to end up and how you'd like to end up. Okay. You may not be certain as to how you're going to get there, but you know what it is that you'd like your life to be. And... You like shiny stuff, okay? And when I say shiny stuff, it doesn't necessarily mean only like jewelry and stuff, but you like the happy moments, the um, the Kodak moments, okay? The, the the things that fill up a photo album and gives nice memories. King of Wands. And look at why the King of Wands is being clarifi clarified by it is the magician. So great new starts, great new beginnings. Kind of like uncertainty, but prepare to go forward with it. Um... One of you two might be a little bit broke, but it's okay. The other one is kind of coming there with the helping hand, okay? So it's almost like the two of you were kind of destined to be together, and this is almost like some sort of test for your love, you know? Can you overcome the, the material obstacles? Obstacle, sorry. Look at me speaking badly. <laughs> okay, so we are clearing the current situation. So this is where you are at the moment. So we're starting with the Justice card, the kind of decisiveness that you made. Yep, you knew what you wanted with your life and where you'd like to go with it. A lot of you were not prepared to kind of take the little scraps anymore. But there's still that nagging sort of old patterning. How do I get through this? How do I move past this? Um, so 
there's some old fears that are that are kind of kicking in in a sense a bit okay which might lead to some difficulties let's see what we have for the rest for your present situation the temperance card a lot of you are really discovering your inner strength that you might not actually have known you had or forgotten because I feel that before you might have very much almost given so much of yourself into um, relationships, partnerships, romantic situations, whatever they may be, that you kind of lost yourself in it a little bit. And now you're kind of really finding yourself and it's, um, it's quite an enigmatic sort of thing for you, you know. Um, Queen of Pentacles, so you know, you definitely know what you want. You are, you are seeing it unfold, you're seeing it happening. So on the one side, it's very exciting, and the tower on the other side is actually kind of scary. So you are incredibly happy, incredibly excited, really looking to the fo forward to the future. And at the same time, you are going like, oh my, it's like you're cringing inside and your stomach is doing little hula hoops. Okay. A High Priestess. <clears throat> In the current situation, you've got a ten of one, so you're letting go of those emotions. So you're working through that. Probably as a couple together, you're working at it. Um, you've got more courage and strength and faith and stuff than you might have thought you had before, because you can see what it is that you wanted here. You are cherishing the situation. You don't actually want to let it go, um, and you kind of you're really letting go of that mentality that you have to be the one playing the lesser part. You know, in the partnership. Clarifying the King of Cups in the immediate future, as well as the Six of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. So you see, there's the Five of Pentacles was in your present moment, and it's also going forward. So I'm going to see what that is about. All right. Okay, so King of Cups, you've got it strength of heart you you really know what you want which is a fantastic thing you're very supported by it your wishes are coming through abundance is coming through um and there's that that walking down the aisle okay it doesn't have to mean physical marriage but it's like when you're walking down the road you know and you're like this is my man this is my woman um uh, you just look at your phone or whatever, you just smile for no reason, you know, because you know this is your person, this is your loyal person that you wanted, it's, it feels really fantastic, and that feeling is what gives you the courage that you require to step away from what is no longer serving you in a positive way, and what was probably not serving you in a positive way for a long time. Good on you. Okay. Um, six of Swords, Surrendering control, beginning to work together, um, really compromising, Eight of Pentacles starting kind of like from the bottom up, you know, um, willing to compromise, learning to roll with the punches, embracing everything, embracing the sunshine, embracing the light, embracing the emotions there with the chariot. Um, really invested in this, okay? Way more than you might have thought you are going to be. Five of Cups stepped away from that mentality of almost like accepting lack um, with the Fool. Clarifying the Fool, the World and the Queen of Cups. Like, mm -mm -mm. And we had the Queen of Cups before you somewhere. <coughs> Let me just check. My apologies. I just want to see where it is because that's going to tell me. There we go. No, it was the Queen of Pentacles, sorry. So... It's quite a decisiveness and that decisiveness is what led to the Queen of Cups going forward, which is the emotions, which is brilliant actually. Um, the full new path, new journey, new world. This is something very new which you didn't expect. Okay, um, You weren't looking for love. And that is usually when we find it the best because we're going to that surrender space. Okay, Remember to also watch your general guidance reading for your specific zodiac sign okay because that will give you a lot more insight into what's happening six of pentacles there's a balancing in the financial situation knight of pentacles you're really building strong foundations together five of pentacles you know, whatever there's lack and whatever you're working through together, this is a this is a, a this is not a fifty-fifty sort of relationship. This is a hundred-hundred. Both are contributing equally. 
which is the best sort of relationship to actually be in. What do we have? Yeah, turn on your love light. Okay. It's time for you to get into that space of love. And let's see what Oracle card we can finish off with you for this 23 to 31 March 2018. Same-sex reading. So there's a couple that followed. I'm going to take the one that is upright. Expand your horizons. Beautiful, eh? Expand your horizons. That's a beautiful confirmation there for you. That things are definitely going in a positive sense for you. And what, is it, what does this historical say? The one says turn on your love light. And the other one says expand your horizons. So the, how do you expand them into love? How do you turn on your love light? By expanding the horizons. Being open to new beautiful things. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. For those of you that are coming into love, I wish you all the best. May it be beautiful, may it be everything your heart desires, and remember to love and appreciate each other. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you for your energy. My name is Aiden H. Nelson. I live in beautiful Cape Town. Um, remember to go check out the other videos. I'm going to put all the links down below for you. Like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you all soon. Thanks so much.